contact with Teal 76. Oh God, we're going to DEFCON 2. It's the dawn of the Atlantic hurricane season, and a crew from the Air Force Reserve's Weather Reconnaissance Squadron is flying into a monster. A 400 mile wide tempest named Earl. There's going to be some fairly intense weather out there, and, and we're going to essentially drive through most of it straight through the center and into the eye of the storm. With winds of 135 miles an hour, Earl is churning in the Atlantic, 350 miles east of Savannah, Georgia, and threatening the East Coast. Since its birth, satellites have been monitoring Earl. Onboard infrared cameras have been tracking temperatures in the storm. Other satellites beam down radar to create these 3D images of the storm, which reveal its inner structure. But for all their power, there's one critical piece of data these satellites can't collect. Sometimes you have to go in and take a look at what's really going on. And the one thing that satellite imagery still doesn't do that we do is measure pressure. That's really the lifeblood of a hurricane. To determine pressure, they'll fly into the storm and drop sophisticated remote sensors called SONs from the plane. Inside these cylinders, a GPS locator measures winds. Another sensor tracks heat. And most importantly, a barometer records air pressure. Once ejected, a small parachute opens to stabilize the descent. Every half second, the sonde relays measurements back to the plane. Inside the eye, the crew drops a sonde. And the data starts streaming back. I got 9.3. My first look at that sonde sounds right. The numbers reveal Earl is starting to lose some of its punch. Pressure inside is rising, and the eye is beginning to fall apart. It's not a real nice concentric eye like we thought it would be. They'd be getting elongated, whatever. It's, it's not open at the top. I think what we're figuring out is this thing is a little more disorganized and a little less uh, strong than we thought it would be. Get a little farther north, maybe the water temperature's a little lower, so it's losing its energy. You can see the surface right there. As it sort of trucks north here, the water gets cooler and cooler. I think that is a recipe for this thing to continue to weaken. While data from the heart of a hurricane helps forecasters say whether they're going to hit land and how hard, it's also helping science understand how the atmosphere as a system is responding to those subtle changes in chemistry. Combining that data with information coming from satellites, we can see a disturbing trend in the behavior of these cyclonic storms. Looking at data collected over the last decade, we can see that hurricane intensity is increasing. Following the tracks of storms, we can see that trend as moderate storms. Seen here in blue are replaced by ever-growing numbers of severe storms, seen here in red, 